Grammy Awards last night, but still his rise to stardom seems unstoppable. His father recently sat down for an exclusive interview with KITV. As Moani Kiala Nabar reports, his father says his son's passion for the spotlight started at an early age. When people say, where did this little boy come from? All of a sudden, out of nowhere, who's this Bruno Mars who just skyrocketed out of nowhere? They don't realize 22 years of preparation for that, wow, that rocket to take off. It's been a long climb to the top for 26-year-old Bruno Mars. His father says the stage was set in the delivery room the day little Peter Jean Hernandez was born on October 8th, 1985. And what we did was we had the lights dimmed to about 50%, almost like a nightclub. And they allowed me to bring in music, so I brought a cassette player at the time and I was playing oldies but goodies. Mars has an entire family of entertainers, so it was no surprise when the showbiz bug took a bite at the age of two. I pulled him up on stage and he started to shake his legs. Little Bruno made his stage debut as Little Elvis with his dad's doo-wop group, The Love Notes. I'd come out two, three o'clock in the morning and he'd be by the TV set rewinding to a certain segment and practicing, you know, one of Elvis's moves, you know, ending with that big karate stance. It wasn't long before he was introduced to the world. He's known the world over as the youngest Elvis impersonator. Please welcome Bruno. Young Bruno continued to perform with his dad's show at Sheraton Waikiki, impersonating the kings of rock and pop. Watching the shows six nights a week that we were involved in, participating in them, but then going home and never can get enough of it. Whether he was on a piano or teaching himself guitar or whatever, he was just, his appetite was insatiable. Despite Bruno's surging success, his dad says he was a normal kid, one of six children growing up in Honolulu. I'm standing here at Roosevelt High, home of the Rough Riders. This is where Bruno Mars spent his high school days, and his father says although his son excelled musically, he didn't care for school. Where are the books in the morning? How come you come home with no books? He said, Don't worry about it, Dad. I got it covered. And he did. After graduating in 2003, he went to Los Angeles to chase his Hollywood dreams. Mars struggled to break into the music business, writing songs for other artists at first. His efforts paid off in 2010 when Just the Way You Are, a song he wrote and performed, went to number one. But Bruno wanted to go for the brass ring. And sure enough, he got it. He grabbed it. Moani K. Alan Nabarro, KITV4 News. And Hernandez says that he gave his son the nickname Bruno after professional wrestler Bruno Sammartino. That guy can dance and sing. Amazing.